So people keep asking me why I'm doing this fight. I'm 35 years old, but I've got nothing to prove. But I have got something to prove. I need to prove people wrong. I need to prove the doctors wrong that said that I wouldn't be able to walk when I'm 30. And most importantly, I need to prove myself right. Having a fight has been on my bucket list for some time now, and I've been training towards getting fit enough for over a year. I've lost just under five stone in weight in 18 months and I'm at the peak of my physical condition. I've worked extremely hard. I've trained pretty much every day for the past six weeks and it's, uh, it's absolutely killed me, but I'm determined to win this fight, but win it convincingly. So I'm fighting for Midlands Air Ambulance Charity because they are a, a, a fantastic charity. I went to visit the base a couple of days ago and I got to meet some of the team and see what they're all about. But I mean, the key reasons is personal reasons. There's uh, a couple of people that I know in my life um, that, uh, that I'm passionate about doing this for. It was an ordinary Friday afternoon in March 2016 and I was walking into the town centre to meet my partner. As I made my way down Trinity Hill, I was noticed I was being followed basically and um, I quickened my pace and the person following me caught up with me and as I stepped to one side to let them pass, they grabbed me and began to start stabbing me. I was eight months pregnant but to cut a long story short, luckily he was eventually detained and police officers arrived on the scene and arrested him. That is when I realised how serious my condition was. And as the police administered first aid, I was told that the air ambulance would be coming in. And all I can say is I felt utter, utter relief that I knew that a helicopter was coming in and that I wouldn't have to hang on for too much longer. I'm Jo Bailey, I'm Events and Area Fundraising Manager. Each year we start the brand new financial year with zero and then we have to raise in excess of £9 million to keep the helicopters operational. We don't receive any government funding, we don't receive any lottery funding, it's totally down to the generosity of our fundraisers supporting the service and without that service um, you know, we wouldn't be able to fly, so it is really important. Without that money, the helicopters can't fly, the medics can't be on there, the expertise can't be on there, and every element of that was required in order for me to still be here, and most importantly, my daughter to still be here. I think it's just a fantastic charity, and this is just gonna contribute that little bit and hopefully raise some more money to save lives. Dean has been working um, extremely hard. I gave him a plan which is quite hard to do, to be fair, to follow, uh, which he's been doing every day in the gym. And then in here he gets probably 110% if more every day he's training, he uh, works, works hard. The main thing that's motivating me for this fight is that you know, people tell me I can't do it. And when people tell me that, it just makes me want to do it even more. As you'll see from some of the training and the footage, I'm working so hard, pretty much day and night. My diet's on point, I'm eating five meals a day, everything's healthy, I haven't drank. And I'm literally throwing everything that I've got into it. I don't just want to go out there and, and, and throw a couple of punches and take a couple of punches. I, I want to put everything in that I've got. I don't want to leave anything on the table and I'm determined to do whatever it takes to be able to do that.